Hi, Chuck here again, and today I want to talk about the Racer Star BR2307S motors, and I got these from Banggood.com. And for the most part, I thought these were pretty good motors, nice power, the price is right, but I did run into a couple problems so far that I would suggest that uh, people steer clear of these motors. So I would say they're good motors as long as they don't have the two problems that I'm talking about right now. So on my QAVR quad right now, I have um, a rear motor that has gotten very noisy and the bearings have a lot of play in them. And uh, you know, mind you, I don't uh, crash a lot, but um, this has definitely worn out. And on the other uh, side in the rear, the motor actually dropped a magnet. So, so I had already replaced that motor, and here it is right now. This is the one that um, failed. Um, it was actually off balance as well, so I had to balance it. But later on, I don't know if you can really tell right in there, you can see the magnet has dropped. So you can see it, the shiny part right there. So this um, motor had maybe about maybe about a month worth of time on it and I'm gonna guess maybe I don't know 40 flights maybe and um, just dropped the motor and started uh, making noise so so I took this off replaced it and the other rear motor so I do have some bearings on order and um, what I'd like to do is just show um, a tear down and pop the bearings out of this one that's got about a month of flight time on it and I'll put it into the one that has a, a very noisy wobbly bearing to try to fix that. So, all right, so let's get started here. This right here is a channel lock, what do they call it, a, some kind of pliers. It's a snap ring plier and I've had these for a long time and it's a, a pretty good tool, basically um, you can put different bits in the end that can be used to spread or close together yep, using this switch here or spread or you see expand or compress so in any case um, right now it's it's set to spread apart if you flip this lever it'll uh, go the opposite way it'll, it'll go in so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing it from the in to the out and what I'm looking for is on the bottom of the motor the little clip I'll point it out right here with the Allen wrench here's a clip right here and so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to install the smallest spreader okay well here we go so I had to install the um, straighter versions just so I can get the tips as close together as possible so that it would fit inside the um, clip for the motor. So let me just go ahead and, and try that right now. So let me put on safety glasses. Hide that clip as so. And I'll go ahead and spread it just very slightly just to get it off. And there we go. So hopefully I didn't damage that clip too much. I'll be able to reuse that, but I'll order some new ones. All right, so on the bottom of the motor, um, after we take off the, oops, that clip is, the motor is magnetic. Let me move the clip to a safe location. And on the bottom of the motor, there is a washer. And, hmm, thought I had a tool. Okay, here we go. All right, so there's a washer on the bottom of the motor that will take off. There we go. And so that's it. So as far as the bottom goes, that should be done. So now I should be able to just pull the top off. Now this is a damaged motor that has a, a dropped magnet. So I'll pull that off. Let's see what we got. It's not wanting to cooperate. So let's put a little bit more force on that. There we go. Very strong. All right. There's the insides. So the bottom half. 
the bottom half actually looks pretty good and the top half just has that one magnet that had uh, slipped off and you know I'm not a fan of re-gluing magnets because you don't know see there we go that's the magnet that's loose there so so anywhere there there's um, that's how you pull off the bell and let's go ahead and uh, get the uh, the magnets out uh, first thing I want to do is just want to just get a general test of how good the magnet is and what I'll do is I'll just take the the shaft of the bell and stick it in one of the bearings just so it engages or it's seated and then I'll give it a spin and just listen to see so actually that bearing seems very smooth and it just popped out actually when I pulled the um, when I pulled it out it just slid right out looks like there's some kind of lubricant on it so um, there was some some kind of lube on that magnet there or the bearing so it just popped out it seemed very smooth and so let's go to the other side and see if this one will just come out easily as well I mean I'll just uh, first thing I'll do I'll give it a spin just to see seems fairly smooth I do feel a little bit of notchiness but let me just go ahead and wobble that and see if it'll pop out and this it's, it is okay there we go so I wobbled that and the bearing popped out so I pulled two bearings out of a motor that um, had dropped a magnet off the bell and they seem to be in pretty good shape um, with about a month's worth of use on them and what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and and pull the motor off of or I'll just pop the the bell off of uh, the motor that's on my quad now and pop the um, replacement bearings in and uh, see see how she works so the um, installation will just be opposite of the installation and um, you know just uh, make sure you use that clip and uh, or order some new e-clips make sure they're the right size for your shaft so that's it the um, racer star BR 2307S motor 2500 kV I think they're very powerful I like them but I've had two failures so far so in my opinion at uh, approximately you know eight ten dollars a pop I would not buy these motors again so um, but I do have a replacement coming from Benga.com um, that I purchased that I'm just gonna keep as a spare so I'll use these until they they really go bad or keep replacing the bearings just to see what happened. Okay, so just to follow up on the Racer Star BR2307S motor, and I just went through a bearing swap. I pulled bearings out of a um, another motor and put it into a motor that I thought had loose bearings, and if you can see it right now, it's still wobbling. So what I've determined is that the bearings are actually okay, not failed, but what happened is that I think that the the bearing race inside the motor is distorted, you know, either the top or the bottom. It looks like the top, if I move it, I can look inside and see it actually moving. And so what that means is that the, uh, the magnets will um, come in contact with the uh, stator um, at some point just because there is some play rocking back and forth and that's what's going to cause the noise so I guess the lesson here is that if you notice any play in your motor from side to side it could be your bearings but most likely it's going to be the races because um, unless the bearings are completely shot um, they're going to be pretty tight and in this case um, I think I've narrowed it down to the bearing race so what I think I'll do is uh, maybe in a day or two I'll take the base of the other motor that has tighter tolerances in the bearing race and I'll just swap it for the bottom of this motor and see if that makes a difference so at this point I'm just trying to keep these motors going until I get a couple failures so um, so the Racer Star BR2307S are a do not buy um, for that reason 
And I will also lump in another Racer Star motor that I had a, a magnet fall out of. The Racer Star BR2306S also dropped a magnet, um, a couple, a few magnets. There's like three, three magnets that uh, came out on this one. And completely destroyed the motor. So, so yeah, Racer Star motors um, definitely wear out and definitely are not the quality that you want. And the jury is still out on another set of Racer Star motors on my semi long range mid range I have the let me see if I can show the motor number Racer Star BR 2406S uh, let's see BR 2406S and I will tell you that so far these are decent motors but I am getting a little bit of play in uh, some of these motors right now so on a 6 inch they're good except for they are also wearing out so I'm gonna go ahead and say except for the the very cheapest racer star which I do I did have a set um, yeah don't buy any racer star motors um, you know I'm pretty gonna I'm pretty much gonna just use up the stock that I have and not buy any more at this point so I think these are good if you're beginning and you're crashing a lot and you're going to destroy a motor anyway, go ahead and get the Racer Star, but you know, after you progress past the beginner stage, just uh, avoid these altogether. Get some better motors. Okay, thanks again. Bye.